These near-term technicals are intense, NVIDIA stock, Tesla stock, and more. Let's talk about it. I am Dr. Stock, Doctor of Education, and what do you call a dog wearing the bur- <coughs> Sorry, dad choke. I'll be honest, I didn't have a dad joke ready. That was the best you could come up with on the fly. So look, take a look at this. This is the heat map for the pre-market for the NASDAQ 100, and we see a lot of recovery where yesterday we had a ton of red. We expected a bounce. So far, we're getting that bounce. We'll take a look at the cues in just a moment. Here's the S&P 500, uh, and we have, again, green in pretty much the same areas. Financials, which were green yesterday, coming with a little bit of red to them. Uh, same thing for health services. Not a whole lot of mute movement that we have going on in utilities. So uh, consumer non-durables also, uh, it looks like maybe possibly settling, or at least stabilizing a little bit. So that's what's going on in the pre-market. I do want to look at the queues. This is getting to be a mess. I'm going to wipe out all these after this video and um, and start with a clean slate so we can see a little bit more of what's going on and uh, and get a really good look at this. But I want to look right in here at the middle of this where we have this big red pepper from yesterday, this big red candle. We are near the 50 for the RSI. Are we going to go into bearish territory in the pre-market hours? We're taking that bounce. We do have that gap to fill from 489 to 493. I don't know that we return there, but it is something to watch. If, if anything, I think this 20 period simple moving average that you have from the Bollinger Bands, I think we could hit our head off of that right around 487, 488. So we want to be watchful for that as it shapes up. And uh, we also want to be careful of this uh, resistance line that we have here that we could actually have a little bit of that recovery coming in and then start a next leg down if we're going to continue to sell downward from here. So uh, right now, the direction is uncertain. If we had a top, if we just had a little bit of a, a yucky day because of uh, big news coming out yesterday, uh, but we'll we'll find out as the market uh, as the market goes on this week what direction uh, we could likely expect. So moving on to IWM, another one where I need to clear out some of these technicals. Uh, but you can see, uh, I did adjust this, by the way, I had it as 228 to 234. But being that we got that rejection closer to 226 uh, and taking a look at the history of it, 226 is also a very sensible area to have that uh, for that turnaround spot to really come in. We fell short of 227 for that high. And uh, what we're looking at in the pre-market hours, we're actually selling down a little bit, as would be indicated by this uh this grapestone doji that we have just pushing down a little bit more only has a little tiny little tiny wick down off the bottom of that thing so where will we send down to sell down to if we sell down most likely we'll tag this trend line support here and then we'll see where we go from that right immediately below that is historic support so uh for what we see for iwm tracking the russell 2000 stocks and we'll know more when the market opens for a lot of the small caps there's not always a lot of pre-market trading for them and so uh we just Got to be watchful for uh, making too much out of the, the pre-market hours that we have here. But it is possible we sell down, we settle a little bit because it has had just a massive run over these past several days. All right, now for the meat and potatoes of this. NVIDIA, I said there's a gap to fill from 120, uh, 122 to 125. And we also have this trend line resistance uh, coming down this way. I'll move that over so that you can see it. So that trend line resistance, if we break that, it's more bullish up here. We have another resistance line right above that, though, keeping us down below 130. We'll see what sort of recovery we get if we get a recovery today. So we are partially filling some of that gap already by coming up into here at the price action. We'll see if that takes us up to 125. If so, watch for a peekaboo above this trend line and see if we get rejected. This down here, these two yellow lines, this is significant uh buying pressure that we have and also it's the 50-day ema and sma support this is the hourly chart that we're looking at so you're not going to see that on here but i would be surprised to see us just fall right down through that i think that we found that buying pressure yesterday because of the 50 ema which happened to be right at about this bottom wick that we had yesterday just south of 117. so for nvidia Still definitely in bullish territory, but if we need to break up above this trend line to have more bullishness come into it. And if we break down through these two supports, we have a significant sell waiting for us. So we want to be watching that range going from about 115 up to about 117. So breaking down below 115, things start to get a little bit messy. We shave off a few more percent, uh, at least from what I'm seeing from the technicals. Tesla, look at this consolidation pattern. I shared this out uh, in the last hour, so this candle's newly formed since then, and it is still obeying this consolidation. I think we have a breakout coming for us soon, 231 to 271, and right now we're about 251, so about $20 in either direction from where we're currently at right now. So uh, that could be 
That, that's a significant move. That's like an 8% move in either direction. I think that can happen between now and the earnings date. It is possible that we do continue to consolidate and chop sideways up until earnings comes out. Uh, I do think there's a, a better than a chance than not that by Friday uh, or Monday that we start to see this thing go wild if it doesn't break out of this today, because that is a significant narrowing uh, of these two trend lines that we have for the more recent price action going back to what we saw on Thursday of last week up to Thursday of this week, kind of keeping us in a little bit of limbo for Tesla in the near term. So go to the hourly chart, watch those two trend lines. If you break the bottom trend line, watch for 231. If you break the top trend line, go for 271. If we don't get either one of those, if we chop sideways, Earnings is that big disruptor that we have coming up on Tuesday in the after hours. That's going to throw out all of these near-term technicals. Then we watch for wherever the price action lands us on the much larger chart. Uh, so looking at days, weeks, months, you name it. Uh, and then once we get, get ourselves repositioned following earnings, then we can start to plan accordingly. After that, again, on more near-term technicals. All right, a few other things. SoFi bonked our head just like we thought off this historic resistance. It's getting near that $8 mark, which is going to be that uh, psychological resistance as well. This is the fourth touch that we've had on it. We'll see if we have enough uh, momentum going into this to, even though it's overbought, to push us up a little bit higher for a little bit longer. And uh, I have a, um, a small hedge out for the next two days uh, in an option, a call option that we do happen to break through that. 850 would be incredible, would, would return in multiples, but that also means a significant upside from where we're at right now. And uh, we've already had an incredible one from 620-ish uh, all the way up to where do we peak out of this thing? Uh, we peaked out at 791. So uh, huge, massive run, made a lot of money on the way up, long-term position, doing great. I was buying shares down here at the bottom of this thing, uh, purchased some options down here towards this area, cashed in at 25, 33-ish uh, percent on that. And, and it's been a wonderful thing. All right, just to, before I get going, there's two more things I wanna share with you on this. Well, three things, let's make it. So if you guys wanna see my buys and sells, see how I'm playing the market, you can do so by using the link down in the description for the Patreon. Click that, sign up, join the Discord. You can find me over there. YouTube memberships, by the way, are on their way as well. That'll be another way that you can access the Discord in case you don't wanna do Patreon. More comfortable with YouTube, they'll be there for you. So, all right, so end phase. Uh, coverage on this one, we are pretty much in the middle of what we have for the top of the range and this bottom down here, which is actually outside this range bound trade of 95 to 138. I've adjusted this up from 75 up to about 84 uh, because that actually puts us right in the middle of these two things. And it has the same earnings date as Tesla, the Tuesday, the 23rd in the after hours. And I think that could be that next mover that helps us move up to the top of the range, or it could be something impactful enough to move us down out of the bottom of this range as we're below the 50 and 200 already. Bit of a bearish sentiment, a little bit of mixed bag, what you get with solar right now, especially since uh, this weekend's uh, past incidents uh, that we had, uh, the shift in the favor, uh, the favoring by the, by the polls, by the people who run the odds for it for Trump to win the election, kind of takes some of the attention away from renewable energy stocks uh, as if we had uh, uh, more uh, democratic uh, control or, or more democratic uh, favoritism in those odds uh, for who's going to win for presidency. And so that wasn't necessarily something that helped out the momentum that we had going for end phase. We do have a falling RSI on the daily. It is near 50, dropping down below that. Could take us to the bottom of this range. Like I said, the earnings are on Tuesday. Be watchful for that. All right, the last thing that I want to share with you is what can happen if you have technicals forming up, but you don't wait for confirmation of that pattern to take place. So here's FlowServe with an absolutely gorgeous formation on a head and shoulders pattern, but it's only a potential head and shoulders until you break down through the neckline to confirm the pattern, to confirm the drop coming up. So watch what happens when you don't wait for that confirmation. This is one of those cases where instead of having even sideways price action, you just had uh, incredible price appreciation, about 10-ish percent appreciation instead. And I did try anticipating this because of the, the, the well formed head and shoulders that was shaping up here. I was like, I'll make, make a few extra dollars on this one. And instead of waiting, we got bounce, we got support, and I didn't end up closing the options play. I think I closed it on Thursday when I was like, okay, well, this one's done, it's cooked. And uh, I didn't wait for confirmation, and that happens sometimes. So sometimes that's what it takes for these reminders that 
It was a trade that maybe you should have stayed away from. Uh, you got to, you got into anyway, waiting for that confirmation sets off other traders in that same direction. So then you're moving with the team instead of trying to move against the team. So I just wanted to put that little lesson out there for you because it's one that I uh, personally experienced and it's one that I think is common to a lot of traders that are out there as well. And it certainly keeps you from being profitable if that's something that happens on a repeated basis. And that's why we have trading plans to keep us out of bad trades and bad situations. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed my commentary. Let me know what you think of NVIDIA, Tesla, the market overall, uh, the Russell 2000 stocks. I'd love to hear what you have to say about that. If you want to see my buys and sells, how I'm playing this market, join me and my community members over at the Discord available through the Patreon and soon those YouTube memberships. I'll let you know when they go live. And then if you want to learn to do technical analysis trading like I do, you can do so using that link down in the description as well. Sign up and get access to that technical analysis trading course. I'm going to let you go. Thank you very much for watching. I am Dr. Stock, Doctor of Education. Remember, my friends, that learning is earning and we'll see you in the next video.